Hello and welcome to another Excel at the Office video. New paragraph. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Word to transcribe for you what you're saying. Uh, this can be a massive time saver. Okay, I'm getting distracted by this, so I'm just going to pause it. As you'll notice, I started this video, my name's Adrian, by the way, demonstrating the tool. Um, you might not have used it before, it's a massive time saver. Uh, it could change your working life. And you can not only dictate on the home ribbon uh, what you're saying, uh, you can also upload audio um, uh, for you to use, uh, say for example, if you want to transcribe a, a draft of a podcast. Um, or some other audio from elsewhere if you want it written down for you rather than listen to it and take ages to type it all out you can do this uh, uh, use word for you now AI is all the rage at the moment it's pre still pretty dumb for anything creative that requires a human brain obviously uh, but this is uh, utilizing AI to recognize speech you can choose the settings in terms of your um, language that it's uh, referring to. Uh, you choose your microphone. Uh, obviously if you're having any issues, one thing I noticed if you've stopped for privacy reasons your microphone from uh, from apps having access to your microphone, sorry, then you'll need to go into your settings, uh, search for microphone in settings um, and make sure that's switched on so that Word can use it otherwise it will say something along the lines of oh we cannot uh, don't have permission or can't detect a microphone so make sure you've got the right microphone selected I've got plugged in headgear and microphone you can choose as I did then to have auto punctuation on or off and if you uh, want to filter out the, your expletives as it's not doing what you say or <laughs> you want to leave that off because you want to uh, transcribe some uh, expletive filled song lyrics or something like that there's a wide variety of uses you can use this for um, if you turn that off you have to manually do the punctuation yourself so I'll just demonstrate that by pressing the dictate again this is when you have to use punctuation yourself full stop I use punctuation for sentences comma paragraphs comma and, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> if you forget what you're saying, obviously be careful because this is going to type everything down. Um, so I'll just leave it there, full stop. And uh, here's another clever thing, dot, 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 new paragraph. So you see in, it starts typing it out in grey until it figures out what you're trying to say and it recognises if you're ever going to put in a full stop. Full stop. Ah, clever word. Managed to figure that one out. Uh, so yeah, this is just a quick video to demonstrate the uh, dictation tool. I'm just going to pause that now. Um, show you that actually you can transcribe an audio file I'd recommend mp3 and of course if you want to enhance the audio quality of your audio file so the AI in Microsoft's Word can pick it up easier um, by all means um, utilize my audio uh, audacity tutorial video that will show you how to do that in the fantastic tool that is Audacity. <coughs> um, you can also do this transcription of your voice in PowerPoint so that you'll find this same tool under the ribbon in PowerPoint as well um, and you use it just the same. I don't think you can upload uh, audio to transcribe because obviously it's not expecting to do pages and pages of audio transcription notes from a half hour podcast but if you are uploading audio you can choose whether or not you include the timestamps and the different it can differentiate between speakers I won't show you how to do that now uh, oh okay um, you just go to the transcribe uh, and upload audio 
and that uploaded audio you'll choose from your file and folder system. Um, because it's using AI it says down here you can upload unlimited minutes of audio for transcription but it may change in future so try it now. So Microsoft is there saying yeah it costs us a bit of a bomb to use this AI as, as other online tools charge a subscription they might charge you for the privilege uh, in the future. So if you have got a bunch of podcasts that you want to get transcribed for free or at least a kind of first version obviously the quality of it in terms of the transcription won't be as good as paying a human uh, 20 pound an hour or something to do it for you uh, however it's a massive time saver and it will save you 20 pound an hour uh, and instead you'll just be inserting paragraph breaks here and there some uh, changing the names of things interestingly this got the name of my youtube channel correct um, but sometimes with names of things or businesses, obviously it's not going to pick that up. And as I mentioned, just make sure you've got your English, uh, British, I've got selected here. But if you're American or Indian or other accents, I won't um, please you with my array of terrible accent impressions. Um, <laughs> so, however, uh, obviously... Uh, pick the language that is most accurate to your voice and that will ensure Microsoft uh, Word is more successful in transcribing more accurately uh, the things you say. So um, I've probably said enough on this. I just wanted to point it out because it's really cool. It will save you potentially hours and hours. If you're a fast typer, it might not save you any time at all. And the act of uh, speaking rather than typing is very different. So you might find your creative flow is much better writing or uh, vice versa. But if you are speaking, I'd recommend, uh, from my own experience, don't look at what it's <laughs> typing out because it's very distracting and can interrupt your uh, thought process. But if you use it right, it can save you a heap of time, particularly for uploading an audio file and transcribing that. Let me know your views, uh, whether this has helped you in the comments. Uh, my name's Adrian again. Excel at theoffice.com is my blog and website. You can read some more stuff there, how to use uh, Microsoft Office and Audacity and some other fun things. So for example, I've got um, a there's a new Ancient Apocalypse, which is quite a fun series on Netflix coming out. Uh, in uh, the, On the last one, I did a Ancient Apocalypse themed PowerPoint presentation. So if you like that, uh, then there's a PowerPoint presentation you can align your work to. Similarly, I did the same with a Stranger Things, if you like Stranger Things, um, and some other fun PowerPoint and other templates you can use. Uh, so uh, take care, and until next time, I'll say bye-bye now.